What kind of weapon should I choose? Listen. It is often suggested that uh, for the unpracticed hand, the double action revolver of this type is safer. That is, it's less dangerous to the user. Obviously, uh, you don't want a weapon that is safe to the intruder. But we, uh, what, there are people who maintain that this weapon is a safer weapon to have in untrained hands. I am very uneasy about that attitude because I don't like any weapon in untrained hands. Of course, I cannot change the world, so I have to accept the fact that there are people who are going to buy firearms who don't know what they're going to do with them. Now, under that very unfortunate circumstance, I would say that a double-action revolver of good quality is probably the best bet. You don't have to get them this big. They come smaller, that size. Um, this is a this is very definitely not even plan B, this is plan C. If you have to give a weapon to somebody who doesn't understand weapons. But for a person who understands weapons, the automatic pistol or semi-automatic pistol actually is uh, superior in all sorts of ways. It's, uh, in the first place, a lot easier to learn to shoot well because you do not have to learn to manage that double action trigger. Now, this um, is a full-size 1911, the kind that I carry most of the time and the kind that I recommend. It's um, very convenient for a person who has a stature for it, but it's a little bit big. And uh, there are people who, in the first place, don't have the body uh, mass to wear one of these things comfortably. And there are a good many people who can't make it from here to here with a hand. Um, unfortunately, there's not, not much has been done about that in recent times. Uh, I think it would be the next step, not so much the double action auto, but producing uh, automatic semi-automatic pistol which was shorter from here to here and narrower from here to here. We find that about half of our women students and about a quarter of our men students can't get their hands around this. So you can get a smaller weapon, such as that. The reach is still not taken out. This is a full power gun. This is a 45, but it's made out of light metals and it packs away neatly. Uh, this is a good choice. Uh, the small, the smallest of size of the weapon makes the piece a little bit harder to use. Small size and lightweight are conveniences for portability, but they do make the weapon harder to use. The lighter the weapon, the more it kicks for the same cartridge. And the smaller the weapon, the lighter it is, and uh, it, it brings out certain other disadvantages. So the matter of bulk, of size, does intrude. But uh, there is no question in my, my, my mind but what the major caliber semi-automatic pistol is the most efficient defensive device we've come up with yet.